To a stone carver, this coarse block holds within it a new form waiting to be revealed. To the naked eye, it is solid, but to science, it is a swirling, seemingly chaotic mass of tightly woven energy. Both versions of reality are true, and both require highly trained minds, skilled hands, and the proper tools and workspace to bring their subjects to light. Whether the research seeks to unravel the origins of the universe, targets the internal structure of matter, or examines the genetics of disease, each subject will only reveal its true form to the quickest of minds with the sharpest of tools. In research facilities across Canada, and now in international centers around the globe, the Canada Foundation for Innovation is providing access to the world-class research space and equipment that is the nexus of innovation. Throughout history, philosophers and scientists have contemplated the origins of the universe, posing ever more complex questions. How are stars and galaxies formed? What can mapping the universe tell us of its origins? Are there other solar systems similar to ours, capable of supporting life? Radio astronomers seeking answers to these and other questions come to the James Clerk Maxwell Telescope in Hilo, Hawaii. From its perch high atop an ancient volcano, the radio telescope scans the skies, studying the cold material of space, such as gas and the dust clouds between stars. It can detect the faint heat glow of grains of interstellar dust trillions of miles from Earth. The international facility uses a special camera-like device called SCUBA, which stands for Submillimeter Common User Bolometer Array. The device is internationally recognized as the most powerful imaging system of its kind. But as powerful as SCUBA is, its replacement, SCUBA 2, is designed to produce far more detailed images and be a thousand times faster than its predecessor. Instead of showing the universe the way it is now, the way that stars are and the way that planets look now, it looks deep into where stars are forming, where planets are forming, and shows us how they form. At these much longer wavelengths, normal telescopes don't work. They don't show us anything. The processes of star formation and planet formation are hidden, and you must observe those at much longer wavelengths to see anything. SCUBA 2 will be by far the best instrument to see these much longer wavelengths where creation is happening. SCUBA 2 will scan vast areas of the sky with unprecedented speed and detail. The new technology will permit radio astronomers to gather more information in one night than can currently be done in three years of observation. SCUBA 2 will revolutionize submillimeter astronomy. It will be the best submillimeter camera in the world, operating on the best submillimeter telescope in the world at the very best observing site in the world. The challenge of designing and building this instrument requires that we pool the talents of scientific and technical experts from around the globe. This international collaboration is an essential aspect of big science in the 21st century, and it's only possible with the support of organizations like the CFI. By participating in international long-term research projects like those conducted using SCUBA 2, Canada maintains and enhances its stature as a country actively engaged at the frontier of radio astronomy, opening an ever-expanding window to a universe of new knowledge. Just as artists need the studio space and the proper tools to complete their craft, so too do research scientists require the apparatus and facilities to enable their quest for new knowledge. The Canada Foundation for Innovation is very interested in ensuring that Canadians not only have the tools to do their own research, 
but in our programs to do with international work, we want to be sure that they have the opportunity for collaboration, and this will open many, many doors with other institutions and other parts of the world. By fully participating in large-scale collaborative research programs, Canadian researchers and their international partners continue to steadily reshape the raw materials of observation and theory into new worlds of understanding.